Alright, I'm going to show you how to do a tempo change within Nuendo or Cubase or any of the Steinberg products and this should be the same for all the versions. I'm going to here on Cubase 4 right now and all you have to do, this is your track, this is a guitar track that starts out fast. And in the song, the drums do a fill, then it's a breakdown. So it's much slower. Well, the problem is if the drummer wants to record to this, he's not going to have the click that he needs. So to do this, all you have to do, notice over here that most of the time, default, Nuendo or Cubase has this set to fixed tempo. All you got to do is click, and it changes it to a tempo track which means that you can control the tempo using a track and not a track up here but if you go to project <coughs> tempo track which is also control T I'm just gonna do the shortcut then it brings up this window here and let's keep it over here and so here's your starting tempo 192 and notice how these uh, cursors are the same they follow each other on the on the timeline so this would be the gap. Well, let's say we want to change it right when this one hits. So if we go in right when this one hits right about here. Well, all you got to do is go over to the tempo track. <clears throat> click draw. Hit a point. Go over to this and bring it down to, let's say, 140, I believe, is the tempo. So bring it down to 140. If you can't get it exact, if you're having trouble, it's fine. Just uh, you can also I believe you can also move this down and then change it up here. Yeah. So you can move that to exactly there. And notice how it follows. And down here, the down here, the tempo changes automatically when you cross that point. So here's how it sounds. <laughs> So the click's not exactly on, but that's the idea. Let me let, let me just play it with just the click. So you, I'll mute this. It's going along. So that's all you do. And notice how, again, these follow each other. So let's say you wanted to change that up and move it maybe back here so that the drummer could get a head start and... <clears throat> hear the click a little bit before. That's perfectly fine. Move it even back a little more. Give the drummer some room. And notice also how here the, the measures change. Um, when you move this back, it's stretching them a little bit or compressing them a bit. So, that's... So... That's all you do.